today we're training back. We're switching it up. One of my favorite places to get a back workout. This forces you to hit both lats equally because they're actually independent. They have their own stack on each side. Great machine. All right, so today I'm actually switching up my back program. I'm gonna be doing a majority of rows. Very few overhead movements. I'm just warming up with this overhead movement. What's overhead movement? Lap pull down, close grip, lap pull down, pull up. Um, those, are, those are overhead movements. But I wanna build my back thickness. So what I'm gonna be doing is focusing on rows. Rows, 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 rows. We throw in a couple of overheads to finish it off. Ah, real cast iron plates. You know, I've been really keeping a close eye on some of my competitors. And one thing I noticed is the guys with incredible backs that I compete against, they all do heavy T-bar rows. So I want to start incorporating some more of those rows into my workouts. Um, guys like Steve Lloris, guys like uh, George Peterson in classic physique divisions. By the way, what do you guys think about my new haircut? You like it? You don't like it? Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, motherfucker. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm not a big believer in warming up. I actually like to use my sets as the warm up. Start one plate, two plate. Once I get to three and four, those are my working sets. So I'm aiming somewhere between six and 10 reps. So just now I did seven. I knew I could increase by 10 pounds, maybe still do six or seven. What happened here was I still got seven repetitions. I had gas in my gas tank for one more rep. So I'm gonna increase the weight once again. Oh, that was the set I was looking for. All right, exercise number three. No belt needed for this one because I really like to stretch and um, really uh, get a nice pull of my lats on this seated low cable row. First set is always a warm up set. I like to just activate those fibers, stimulate the back muscles before I really increase the weight. So second set is essentially the first set. Last set, just as before, six to eight tough reps. 
How do you guys know if that was a good set or not? I know because I barely got eight reps. I set that number in my head, barely got it. There's no way I could have done nine. I know that's the max weight. If you're wondering what I do between my sets, I like to stare in the mirror, just visualize what I'm about to do. Uh, even bring some dark side into this. All right. You guys saw I only got five reps there. That means it's a little too heavy. Lighten the weight, focus more on my form now. So what I want to aim for here is four heavy sets. The first one was 25 pounds, I don't count that one. So everything after a plate, I start counting four heavy sets. We kept the rep range between 10, and the more we increase the weight, I want that closer to six. All right, exercise number five, machine row. Now we got the heavy free weight stuff out of the way. Time to move on to a machine. Every time I increase the weight, I'm actually performing less reps. That's how it should be. If you increase the weight and you're doing the same amount of reps, it means you're not challenging yourself. The load must be challenging. That's why you're not growing. Forget about the diet. Forget about the supplements. If you're not training hard, then you're not making progress. Instead of supplementing two creatine pills, supplement two fucking pills of hard fucking work. Try that out. Let me know if it works. Oh. 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 Notice what I'm doing with my lats. I'm actually on my way down, stretching forward, really emphasizing that stretch in the lats, draw more blood into the muscle. Final exercise. I'm gonna save the best for last. We are doing barbell rows. You'll be surprised, like, one plate on each side is enough if you're concentrating. Pulling up, holding, stretching, core tight, retract shoulder blades, grab your balls. You know, a lot of people like to save their heavy compound movements for the, for the beginning. I like to save it for the end. Now let's work on the width. We're gonna do four sets of heavy lat pull downs. Ooh. Ooh. 
All right, guys, that's all she wrote for back. One of my favorite gyms to train back in. Did things a little different today. We did lots and lots and lots of rows. Very little overhead work, as you've seen. I think that's gonna be my secret to putting on the thickness in my back. Oh yeah, and guess what? If you guys haven't done so, make sure you click that like and subscribe button right now. It really helps my channel grow, helps me to deliver more great content to you.